Dear friends, now I want to share Psalm 90. As you read this psalm, I invite everyone to reflect on these words today. This psalm is an appeal to the Lord, the Creator of the Bible. He expresses, Lord, You have been our shelter in all ages. Before the mountains came into existence, before the earth and the world were, You are God from everlasting to everlasting. You, Lord, change man to destruction and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years before you are like yesterday, which is past, and like a watch in the night. You take them like a flood, they are like a sleep in the morning, which grows and blossoms, but at night it is cut off and withers. We are consumed by your wrath, and before you, our hidden sins are revealed in the light of your countenance. Our years end with sighs, and the days of our lives are like seventy years, or eighty, if by force. Yet thy display is but toil and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Teach us to number our days, that we may acquire a heart of wisdom. Come back, Lord, until when? Have mercy on your servants. Satisfy us with your mercy, so that we may rejoice and have happy days. May the beauty of the Lord our God rest upon us and confirm the work of our hands. Amen. I have come to the conclusion that we need Jesus Christ, His love, mercy, and presence. We depend on God to protect us from evil, because only He provides and guards. Praising God must be our priority, even in difficult times. When we praise God, we exalt His name above our problems. If we learn to praise the Lord with all our hearts, we will find Him a solid refuge during the storms of life. Let us pray together that God will see each listener, casting His eyes upon us, granting us the grace to praise Him in good times and bad. I am grateful for His word that inspires and encourages. We beg God to see beyond appearances and reach the most intimate parts of our hearts, relieving our burdens and problems. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Standing tall, I proclaim the special blessing of Numbers 6 24 26 on my journey. May the Lord bless and keep me. May His face shine upon me with kindness. I seek the Lord's attention, seeking peace. May this be my reality, with the light of His face illuminating me, both day and night. May His eyes be upon me every day, providing serenity. I take refuge in the arms of Jesus, where I find strength. In His arms, I rise, exchanging fear for faith, standing firm. In them, I am no longer dominated by despair, now, I have hope. I can witness healing by renouncing the power of evil with boldness and conviction. I thank Jesus for Psalm 40 verse 2, where He rescued me and set my feet on the rock. As I stand before you, Father, protect my mind from earthly concerns. May your love cover every area of my life, healing broken hearts. I glorify your name, Jesus, because I believe that, by faith, you see me, rescue me, and never abandon me. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and love. We bless your holy name. Amen. Lord, you are our refuge from all ages. Before the mountains were formed, before the earth and the world existed, you are God from eternity to eternity. You turn man into desolation and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years before you are like yesterday, passing like a waking night. You carry them away like a torrent, they are like morning sleep, growing and blossoming, but at night they are cut down and wither. We are consumed by your indignation, and before you, our hidden sins are revealed in the light of your face. Our years end with sighs, and the days of our lives are like seventy years, or eighty, if by force. Yet thy display is but toil and sorrow, soon cut off, and we fly away. Teach us to number our days to acquire a wise heart. Come back, Lord, until when? Have mercy on your servants. Satisfy us with your mercy to rejoice and have happy days. May the beauty of the Lord our God rest upon us and confirm the fruit of our work. 
Amen.